but we're now coming up to our Mercane specialized lift. Putting this bad boy on the machine. So if you're gonna haul ass, you better be able to stop too. So the video that I'm gonna make for you today is gonna to show how we're going from a mechanical brake caliper to a two-piston hydraulic mechanical caliper. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and loosen this one up right here. So we can go ahead and take the cable out. Then we're gonna take these screws out right here. So we can remove this guy. So I've taken it off. This is the 100% mechanical brake and we're gonna to go to this little beauty right here. I love this part right here. Do not loose it. Are they talking about losing your mind when you're hauling ass on this scooter? Are they talking about losing your brakes because you didn't tighten them right? I don't know, you tell me. So this X-Tech disc brake caliper is mechanical hydraulic. It's mechanical in the sense that you're gonna go ahead and put in a cable to activate it, but the piston right here is hydraulic. You got fluid in it and you've got pistons on the back or piston on the back and one piston on the front so that you have dual activation, better braking power. You gotta make sure that you use or order the one that's for the front because it'll have that bracket right there. The little yellow tab that you see, we're gonna have to pull that out. The disc will slide in between. I'm just kind of giving you a look of this thing all the way around. I took the bottom mounting bracket off of the brake caliper assembly. I've mounted it, and now I'm going to install the actual caliper itself. Now I have to use two hands because I'm gonna tell you what, this thing is a very tight fit. Now this is what it looks like without the bottom bracket on it, the mounting bracket. So remember this yellow piece does not need to come out until you're ultimately ready to put it on. I'm doing this video in segments because I'm trying to do it with two hands and with the camera in one hand, I can't, but this is kind of the beginning. I've got it slipped over the disc and I have put the cable through the area that it needs to be in to go ahead and put the base right here, pull it through, and then we'll do the tightening right there. Now what you wanna do when you're adjusting the entire assembly to be centered over the disc, go ahead and pull this forward so that both calipers come out and center themselves on the disc. As you're holding that, tighten down the screw there and the screw that's right back here. Once you've done that, release it and you should have the perfect spacing on the back and the front pad. Now this is gonna to be tough to see, but right in here, directly above the Z, your disc is in that little archway as it is right here. So make sure that you center that in that little arch. That way your wheel spins freely. And trust me when I tell you that this little lever right here, when it pulls it, it will stop it. Wish I could show you better, but I only have one hand to film and one hand to try and point. Well, it's completely installed. All the nuts and bolts are all tightened down. My cable's adjusted correctly. I'm gonna hop on this monster right now and take it for a spin. If I don't make it back, it's because I lost it. Do not lose it. Yeah, I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> She's done, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> 